welcome to another episode of Manuela Style and today I'm gonna make really delicious caramel apples. I love caramel. I fell in love with caramel apple when I was in Nashville. I love Nashville. I love everything about Nashville, even the TV show. And um, I went to this candy store. It was in heaven for me because I love candy. And I saw all those caramel apples and my first thought was how I'm gonna eat that. I mean, is it sticky? Is it gonna break your teeth? But I bought one and they cut it up before they put it in the box and I ate it and I felt so in love with it. I came home and I made the exactly same thing. I just tasted it, put lots of vanilla in it and I was so surprised when I tasted it that it tastes exactly the same as it was in Nashville. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make caramel apples and I'm also going to show you another treat that I learned there that has to do with Pecans. I love pecans. In the south they have so much pecans. I was in um, Atlanta. Yeah, I went to the American Mart and I met some amazing people there that had like um, pecan flour. Who thought of that? Pecan flour you can use, you know, instead of when you're making cupcakes and um, for macarons and they had like peanut flour. I met people that had like tea, different tea uh, things and you know the tea even you can use in caramel because in caramel you use heavy cream so you can just have some little bit of tea leave it in the heavy cream take it out of the heavy cream and then make the caramel you can get all those amazing flavors but now i'm going to show you how easy it is to make caramel that is the base of these you need an apple and you need to have a stick so you just Take a stick, mine happens to be pink, I love pink, and you just put it in there and it is a very good thing to first take out the little thing in the middle and also you can of course use this ice cream sticks that you put in there. Now I'm going to show you how to make delicious caramel. So the caramel is uh, ready and uh, it has been cooling down for 30 minutes. It's important to cool down for 30 minutes because if you do this before, vanilla, vanilla, it's so delicious. I could just dive in there. It's, I love vanilla and uh, I love caramel. I mean, look at this glossy and beautiful caramel. It's so pretty and so delicious. And uh, the reason you have to wait uh, 30 minutes is because if you put an apple in the warm caramel, it would just fall off and then you have Still a caramel apple, but it's not so much caramel in it. And then, you know, I like a lot of caramel in it. So here you have the apple. Uh, make sure that, you know, it's uh, stick in there, it doesn't fall off. And then you need wax paper, or you can spray just, you know, any f on the table, even if you want. And then you're just gonna dip this thing in. And I'm gonna do a little bit like this, so everything is covered. And now what's the magic? Isn't this delicious? Don't you just get water in your mouth by looking at that? Mm, it just re reminds me of Nashville and the candy store. I think it's called Savannah Candy Store actually. So I'm just gonna hold it like this a little bit. It's a little bit of 
building up those muscles you know that they say is so important <laughs> and uh, because if you put it down there you know a lot of caramel is gonna uh, get to waste and uh, when I was there they had a lot of different things on the caramel they had caramel with pecans so you can of course do that have pecans all around and um, it's important just to cut the pecans before you do that uh, I just like basically this apple caramel just the way it is that is how I like it but of course you can do a little bit of option and you can see now this just almost don't drip anymore so and then I'm just gonna put it right there and because I have the wax paper there so it's gonna stick like that and then you can do the next one I want to show you one thing uh, that we also had then when we were there and that is you take about two or three of those um, pecans also something that they had um, you know when I was there it's just very simple and you just put delicious caramel on top not too much you know it's just chocolate I like dark chocolates you just put it on there and then the chocolate will melt because of the caramel and then uh, afterwards it will melting and then you have this delicious pecan and then you know the caramel and then the melted chocolate and it's so delicious it's a messy situation but it's also fun and children of course love this they love to do this I think also it's very pretty if you don't cover the whole apple so you can see a little bit that is a beautiful green apple so I'm just gonna drip off this and I hope you get so tempted to make this delicious apple caramel These apples are just so delicious and you know you see how easy it is to dip them and um, how they do it in uh, Nashville when they are eating it of course it's very sticky but uh, they just uh, take a knife and they cut it in four and they put it in a pretty box I'm just gonna continue um, doing some more apples and um, as I said you can you know of course uh, cover these with delicious pecans if you like that um, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I love it like that of course not everybody wants to eat one whole apple an apple a day is healthy right so you can just take a quarter if you like and just dip that and uh, enjoy it right away these are so delicious I'm gonna try to eat this in a very you know good manner way I don't know how but mm. Mm. my goodness this bring me back right to Nashville. I love, love, love this. I hope you got inspired today. And um, let me know what you want to see me to do next time. And I hope to see you another time. I'm going to enjoy this apple. A few more. going to dip some more apples. And, you know, you can also dip delicious uh, chocolate. You know, cover with sprinkles, do whatever. But the caramel is sure a winner. As you can see, the caramel drip a little bit. You can just scrape it up, put it in a pan, reheat it, and you have a delicious caramel. This caramel is also delicious on ice cream, or just eat it out of a box. Bye, guys. Mmm.